Hello everyone, what's going on? It's the Lemon King here, and welcome back to the fifth and possibly final episode of 3 out of 10. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed it so far. If you haven't seen the previous four episodes, I highly recommend going and doing that, or you're going to be completely lost as to what's going on. But without further ado, we're going to jump right into it. Is ketchup's a word? You know... I think it needs an apostrophe because you're talking about multiple ketchups as in the bottles of ketchups or packets of ketchup, so possibly. Now, let's get into the meat. The rig is up. Ketchup bottle pants. Good pace. That's something. Morning, Midge. Another fine day at the races, huh? Oh, hey, Kevin. Still can't believe we hit four out of ten on our predictor meter. <sighs> Today is going to be a great day. Yeah, definitely. Hey, psst. Huh? Psst. Kevin, Mitch, over here. Uh, I think that trash can is talking to us. Hello, trash can. Kevin, oh, thank God. It's me, Pylon. Oh, well, what's with the, uh, trash can? Yeah, I've got a thing going on. You can't see my face. Oh, like a pimple? No, I mean, uh, literally, you can't see my face. What are you talking about? Okay, look, but don't shout, okay? Gah! Who took your face? Pylon, are you okay? Yeah, uh, but I keep scaring little kids. We need to get you to someone fast. You two don't catch occasional bugs? Usually I just sleep them off. Do you remember where you last saw your face? If we act quick, we can find it before someone runs over it. Well, my face is still here. I just can't see it. The internet said it was probably a non-manifold topology issue. Or maybe inverted face syndrome. Inverted faces are totally a normal problem, right? Pylon. No. Nothing about this is normal. That's not what the internet said. We have to get you to a hospital. Like, now. Hold up. Uh, company meeting, folks. Ten o'clock, remember? Don't wait around for that. Kevin, isn't Pylon your best friend? Definitely, and I'm sure he would do the same for me. Oh, hey, do you still have your wisdom teeth? Wild. Stop looking at my wisdom teeth. Look, I can't go anywhere right now. My insurance card is in the studio, and I can't go inside like this. What? Here, put this on. Let's go find it. Kevin, you wait here with the car. Ah, I feel more normal already. Check Pylon's desk, all right. Now would be the perfect time to prank Kevin's desk. But I have things to do and he tends to not notice pranks anyway. My insurance card should be here, but I don't see it anywhere. I should look around. Let's go around about your card. Hey, Timothy, have you seen my insurance card? I'm sorry, I can't do that. Stupid programming robot. Good luck, rubber deck. Hey, Jode. I've lost my insurance card. Have you seen it? No. Have you asked Francine? She's the HR person, after all. Of course. Hey, Viper, have you, uh, seen my insurance card? What? No. Why would I care about that? Because you're a nice person. Francine, have you seen my insurance card? I think I lost it. As a matter of fact, I did. In the microwave. You don't happen to know how it got there, do you? Oh, uh, right. Sorry, that was an experiment. You know us tech artists. Always tinkering. Well, tinker with something less important. Those cards are a pain to replace. I left it in the kitchenette for you. Noted. And yeah, thanks. Why the beast still in the microwave? You think she would take it out? Ah, here you are, you sneaky insurance card. Circle up, everyone. Weekly meeting time. Oh no, they're starting. All right, everyone, let's get started. So, we officially reached a four on that uh, score meter thing. I don't really know what that means, but I assume you all do. And I'm disappointed in you. What? 
We've never gotten a meter that high before. We can't even figure out how we did it. You all know how surveys work. Anything less than a perfect score means we're leaving money on the table, team. Hey, who is that? It's me, Pylon. Yeah, he has in no way whatsoever proved that he is Pylon. Viper, stop that. Yeah, that's Pylon. He just wanted to wear a mask today. You could be anyone under there. You could even be a corporate spy. Ooh, or a real spy. Just take off the mask already. Why? What if he's cold? That's spy logic. He's definitely a spy. Why would anyone spy on us? No reason. No reason at all. I got him! He Ugh, slippery bastard. Stop it, Viper, that hurt. Ah! Ah! Holy crap, what is that? Ah! Everyone calm down, it's fine. Yeah, it's me. Dude, what happened? Stay back, Ben. Never trust anything without skin. It's a faceless spy thing. It's here to espionage us. Don't let him touch me. Ah, he will poison me. Oh, no. Who do you work for? The FBI? VSSE? I'll uppercut the answers out of him. Where is Pylon? I am Pylon. <sighs> I'll get the flamethrower. No time. Use this. Pylon, run! Survive all Viper's attack and stay away from Francine. I'll think of something! Just stay away from them, Pylon! Stop squirming around! Run away! Ouch. Run away! Stay back. Run away. Stay back. Nope, it didn't work. Kevin, hit the gas! What? Why? Go, 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 just go! Go? Where? Away from Viper! And stay out! Hmm. Ah, that was close. Got the insurance card, though. Ah, great. So, where to? Well, I think I need to see a technical doctor. Aren't you a technical doctor? I'm a technical artist. We have less letters after our name, and we're much more sensitive. Hey, uh, if I get this thing fixed, you think they'll be nice to me back there? Who, Viper? He's not nice to anyone. Onward to the technical doctor. Man, that was terrifying. <sighs> Thought I was gonna have to step in there for a moment. Whew. I will actually have to work. Bat for oh months. my god! You should get a bat. No one messes with anyone with a bat. Well, no, that was Pylon, right? He was sick and needed help. Pylon? Is that the skinny green guy? <laughs> Didn't look like him to me. Midge. It almost sounded like you were aiding the enemy. It was Pylon! I'm watching you, okay? You know, most of them did look green, y'all. Well, whoever it was, they're gone now. Good riddance, the monster. Hopefully, they'll be fine. Oh, hey, Midge. Someone left a letter for you this morning. Really? I... Uh, I don't think anyone even knows I work here yet. Well, whatever it is, it was dropped off by some guy with a big umbrella. Oh, uh, thanks. I'll, um, I'll go have a look. All right, let's see what this is. Meet today, Southwest Alley, 1 p.m. Come alone. This can't be good.
No, you don't have inverted fate syndrome. But I looked it up. All internet roads lead to inverted fate. You probably just have rigonitis. For liability purposes, that's not an official diagnosis. But rigonitis didn't even come up on the list. You're a game developer, right? I don't look up how to make games on the internet now, do I? Yes, that's how you get into game dev. But just tell me how to fix it, Doc. Oh, it should clear up on its own within a few days, maybe a couple of weeks. That's not official advice, or else you'd need to sign an indemnification waiver. A couple of weeks? Come on, that'll take a million years! Well, now that I think about it, there is a procedure that a specialist could do. Uh, that's not a referral, or else I'd have to charge you a referral fee. Ooh, tell me about it! Unfortunately, your insurance doesn't cover any specialists. Or the procedure. Or this visit, really. Then who pays you? Mr. Pylon, please calm down. I know it's complicated, but... You just told me you can't help me. That's because you need to see a specialist. Who I can't even pay for. Your insurance doesn't cover elective procedures. My face is not elective. Whoa, are we going? Uh, okay. What was that all about? Rigonitis? Does this look like rigonitis to you? Oh, that stuff is great with Alfredo sauce. I know it's inverted face syndrome. I'm not some uneducated mass here. I know how to vet my sources. Excuse me, I couldn't help but over here. You seem to have a problem that is technical in nature, yes? Oh, uh, hello. Uh, who are you? I am someone who can help. What if I told you I knew of other ways to solve technical problems? You seem really, really shady. Thank you. Here, take my card and tell me. Did you speak to a doctor today? I sure did. They told me they couldn't help me. This is too bad. If only there was someone who could help you in this time of trouble. Huh? I mean to say there are others beyond that doctor or this system. Uh, you mean Canada? Oh, that's a great idea. What? No, that's not what I meant. Right. Canada, let's go! Onward to government-run healthcare, my friend! Thanks, shady stranger! So, uh, how do we get to Canada? That's easy. We go up. Canada is always up of us. But we can't drive there. That'd be absurd. Yeah, that's how they get you. Right. We'll take the sewers, Pylon. Let's go. Infiltrate Canada. All right. Get the master key and find the exit. Everyone knows you only get to Canada by subterranean portal. Danger hat, proceed only when armed. Oh no, the fabled Canadian spider moose. Spider moose. I know Canada's around here somewhere. It's so big you can see it from space. Ah, a heart. I needed that. No more bottles of ketchup. There's the key. I have found the key to Canada. All right, we could do better than this. Everyone knows you only get to Canada by subterranean portal. Canadian spider moose. I know Canada's around here somewhere. It's so big you can see it from space.
You have one heart left. Huh. I wonder where all the sewage is in this sewer. Everyone knows you only get to Canada by subterranean portal. I know Canada's around here somewhere. It's so big you can see it from space. Huh. I wonder where all the sewage is in this sewer. Yeah. Ah, Canada, where the air is crisp and... Uh, hey, I thought Wait, Canada was cold. It is, so long as it isn't the first Thursday in September. We're in the middle of their summer. What luck. Now, to find someone to put you back together, my faceless friend. There's gotta be someone in that town down there. Let's go, Pylon. There you are. Right on time. Yeah. What do you want? We've been watching you. So? And how do you think you have done in your mission? They're not making a good game. It's what you wanted, right? Happy? Is the game better than it was yesterday? It doesn't matter if it's better. It's still not good. Our intelligence suggests it is trending the wrong direction. Is that your handiwork? I've barely gotten used to working there. That didn't answer the question, Miss Potter. Do you know why the director chose you? Yeah, because you could blackmail me. You have a particular set of skills. We expect you to use those skills. Just who are you all anyway? We're just humble civil servants doing our duty, Miss Potter. And so are you. Now, please do as we ask. And I promise you this will come to an end. Hello, how may I help you? Whoa, I think their receptionist is a robot. Ooh, how futuristic. Excuse me, is this where I could see a technical doctor? Please take a number. Hey, look at that, a robot that does something. We should get one of those. Thanks. Ah, oh, man. That's a terrible number. Oh, this could take a while. Ah, I feel great. Nothing like a dip in the old regeneration pool. I'm glad our restorative bath has restored your vitality. Yeah, between that and the healing ray, I feel more animated than I've felt in years. Cool. Healing rays? Oh, I did a healing ray. See you next time I catastrophically injure myself, robot. We eagerly await your further injury. Me too. Oh, yeah. I'm going to go run a marathon now. Bye. <sighs> Don't worry. Hey. I've got a plan. We've just got to find someone in that crowd with a low number. Ah, oh, number 14. How long have you been waiting? Oh, since the 90s. Uh, cool. Uh, looks like it's something in the 70s. There are definitely lower numbers. 65. At least they're double digits. This person has the number 239. That's rotten. Hey, hey there. What number do you have? 12. Shouldn't be long now. Oh, yeah. That's really good. I should talk to Kevin about you. What? Huh? Number 12. I have found the person with the lowest number. Great. Okay, just play along with me here. <clears throat> can we buy your spot in line? Uh, sorry? Worry not, friend. We can compensate appropriately. Oh, yeah. We'll pay top dollar. Well, maybe not literally top dollar, but uh, I do have some half-used gift cards, and I have dozens of followers on social media. Uh, you know, they're all yours. Just name your price. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Are you American? Uh, who wants to know? <gasps> Americans! Get them out of here before they steal our health care. Oh, they'll tell everyone back home. They can't leave here alive. Hey, hey, I thought Canadians were supposed to be, like, super nice. Super polite and super nice are not the same thing. Prepare to die, uh, please. <laughs> oh, boy. Well, that's the first time I've ever been run out of an entire country. That was pretty fun. I normally only get run out of grocery stores. I had no idea that Canada's health care system was so cutthroat. Also, unfortunately, we're out of options. Huh? What's that? It was in my pocket. That weird shady person gave it to me. Ooh, do you think they were a technical doctor? Only one way to find out. <clears throat> Damn colors. Go where I tell you. No, that will never work on this. No. What was I thinking? Oh. Hey there, Timothy. 
I'm Timothy 3000, Automated Office Assistant. I'm here to help you with all your needs. Right. Okay. Timothy, would you let your friends down if it meant you could avoid something bad happening to you? I'm sorry. I can't do that. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Those creeps can tell the whole world if they want. I can't let this team down. Ah, hello there. I knew you would come eventually. Hi, my name is Per- ah, ah, ah. No names here, and I only work with cash. You can call me Dr. I.K. My associate is Mr. F.K. Just between us, I'm the forward-thinking one here. Oh, secret code names. Okay, uh, well, call me Dodd Ketchup. Yeah, and, uh, you can call me, uh, Pylon. Hey! All right, Don Ketchup and Pylon. What seems to be the problem? Right, so, can you fix this? Sacred Vertex! I haven't seen a case of rigor porcus that bad in quite some time. Now I feel special. So it's not Rigoditis? Definitely not. And it's not non manifold topology or bow weighted verbs? No, definitely rigor porcus. Terminal rigor porcus, I'd say. Oh no! <gasps> How terrible I'll come inside and let's talk. You have come to the right place. Oh, this can't be good. Have you seen Pylon? What? Oh, uh, no, is everything okay? The current build of the game is a disaster. I can't get any work done without crashing, and the surfer guy has a rocket launcher now. Well, uh, I'm sure he's fine. The surfer guy? I should hope so with that rocket launcher. Hey, what was that litter all about earlier? Anything juicy? No, not really. Just the uh, junk. Oh, I meant to tell you. The guy who dropped it off, the one with the umbrella, he had a message for you. Oh? Yeah, he said, tell her I hope that Mr. Snuffles is okay. Oh. I told him I'd never heard you talk about a Mr. Snuffles, but you know, even though you've only been here a few weeks, you never do really talk about your home life much. That's okay, neither do I. But in my case, it's for your own sake. Mr. Snuffles. Yeah. Hey, go after hey. Mr. Snuffles. Oh, huh? Yeah. Han, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Are you sure you know what you're doing, Dr. I.K.? You need tech doctor, no? Mr. F.K., who is best tech doctor? <laughs> you, my friend. See, Mr. F.K. says I am best. So, what does this involve? Don't catch him. You look in mirror. Oh, no, you say. You see missing face? Such a regrettable morning. But the real problem is that you only see the problem skin deep. The core of your troubles. This is deep within you, Don Ketchup. Like my spine? Look, it's slightly reticulated, but that's never caused issues before. No! Deeper. My spleen? Your mind is holding back the recovery. You hold on to this dream of who you were yesterday. But tomorrow, you can be someone new. In your head, you hold the key to the problem. But my head is what's missing. Yes, and this is our specialty. Mr. FK can find new head. Yes, Mr. FK? You buy the ice, I bring the part and the head. I don't want a new head. I liked my old one. Oh, but this is better. You could have any head. Do you like this child man's head? Why would anyone want his head? Hey, yeah. We got website. You pick one out online. Listen, shady doctor person. I just want my old head back, doc. It's where my nose lives. <sighs> okay, okay, there is a way. You think he could take it? Mr. FK. Okay, okay, you're the boss. Yes, the machine is not exactly the most state approved of machines, but if your head is around here somewhere, this will find it. How? It hits you many times. Right where head should be. Hmm? What? How does that work? Technology is a wonderful thing, my friend. If I wanted someone to hit me on the head, I would have let Viper do it. It knocks sense back at the head. Shows heads who is boss, eh? I don't think I like the sound of this. Put the machine on him, please! <laughs> Heads up! Cover Pylon's fate. Optional collect the stars in the machine. So A and D, it's pinball. Whoa, so many lights! There's a progress meter around my face. I better get all the stars before it fills. You 
you suffer so that you may emerge victorious? Oh, what's that thing all about? Ow! Oh, come on, quit that! Ah. Ow, that hurts! Dang it, ow! Stop that! A few more hits! Yes, yes! Yes! Keep going! Your face meter is a third full! Why would a machine like this even exist? Halfway there, my visitless friend. Oh, come on, quit that. Just gonna keep hitting balls all over the place and Ow. hope stuff works. Oh no, here they come again. Oh Ow. boy. Three quarters to victory, don't catch up. Ah. Ah. Ow. Ah. Ah. Excellent. Yes, yes. Okay, 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 that's enough. Keep it simple enough. Ooh, hoo -hoo. That hurt. Victory hurts, Don Ketchup, but it is still victory and it tastes so sweet. Hey, your head, it's back. Oh, really? Awesome. Did you doubt my abilities? Your non-manifolds have been un-non-manifolded. That's great. Except there's a ringing in my ears and I keep seeing white flashes. Side effects will fade, uh, someday. Now remember, this thing we have done, it is not everything you need. Inside, you are still someone else. Can't change insights. We tried once. Wasted a lot of ice on this day. But we can change your outsides. When you want a new head to match your heart, you know where to find us. So, what did he mean by all that inside you are someone else stuff? I think he was just trying to upsell me. Huh. Probably. Ugh, creepy. Oh, hey you two. Where have you been? Yeah, we needed a personal day, okay? Uh, do you think Jeb noticed? Well, let me tell you, I noticed. The game has been broken all day and we sure could have used your help. Where were you all day? I had to go talk to, uh, some other technical people. About, uh, technical things. I'll get right in there and have a look, Joe. Sorry. Well, better late than never. I'm glad to see your face, Pylon. Oh, yeah, you and me both, Joe. You and me both. Oh boy, things are getting spooky. Step number six again, it just seems to be a trend every time it's number six, but anyways, everyone, that was the end of three out of 10, the first season at the very least. And as you saw on the screen, we'll be back in 2021 with the next season of 3 out of 10. So hopefully you all enjoyed. If you did, remember to hit that like button, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to be notified of new videos. And also when the next season of 3 out of 10 comes out. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this first season, and we'll see you in the next season very soon.